Hey, welcome back to the Calibrated Concepts YouTube channel. My name is Ellie and I'm here today to talk about, you guessed it, technology, websites, all those kinds of things that I'm always rattling on about. In specific today, I'm going to be talking about my tech stack, the tools I use in my business to make things work really, really easily, and then a couple bonus tools that I recommend to clients all the time. So let's get into it. I know this can feel like I know that it can often feel like, where do I start? Um, and I think that's a very valid question because as you all know, I do not believe in a one size fits all solution to small businesses. However, there are tried and tested tools um, that I use with my clients, that I use in my own business that I love to recommend um, because I find that they work for a lot of my clients. So, because when you're running a business, you need things to be efficient, affordable, you need to be making sure you're not wasting time, having massive headaches that you, and those kinds of things. So first, let's talk websites. Things that I use in my business, uh, I use Squarespace first and foremost. Um, it creates simple, beautiful websites. If you've been here a while, you know that I've been talking all things about it. It is one of the cores of my business. I believe in it so much that I have been building Squarespace websites for other businesses for years now. Um, it's beautiful, functional, fully customizable, super duper simple. And what I love about it is that I can then hand my, these sites over to my clients and say like, it's yours now, I'm here if you need help, but like, you don't need to come to me for every little thing. Um, next on the list, number two is SEO space. So going in conjunction with that, when you have a website, you want people to be able to actually find it. So if you're feeling a little bit lost with SEO, SEO space is perfect for you. It makes it so that you know how to optimize your website for SEO. Uh, you're doing, it helps you a lot, like really specific guides on things like keywords, uh, the Google search console, um, alt text on images, making sure the external links open into an external page or like a, you know, those kinds of things. So it just makes sure you're ticking all those little boxes that you might not even know are problems on your website. Number three, my third website tool, was it's in the third tool on this list in general, is Shopify. So I do recommend Squarespace to so many of my clients because I usually, not always, but usually work with service-based businesses. When I'm working with an e-commerce shop or even a physical commerce shop, someone that has a lot of products, I always, always recommend them to Shopify. Um, Shopify and Squarespace started here and here. Shopify was all e-commerce all the time. Squarespace was like services, bloggers, and they've grown towards each other. But Shopify really is just at another level when it comes to e-commerce tools. Maybe someday Squarespace will get there. But as far as localization, plugging into different marketplaces, um, shipping rules, those kinds of things, it's so much easier over in Shopify. All right, so the next thing on my website list is number four, and it is promplets. Um, this is something I've used to write my own website so many times. Just Jordana has this amazing system that she's a copywriter. She obviously doesn't have time to write everybody's websites. She is, um, so she has this system that helps you get the part prompts, prop, part templates, as well as tutorials and lessons along the way. And I've used this system a couple of times now rewriting my website. And before I'd have my website written by copywriter, I had written my own website um, just on my own. And I found that this really meshed two beautiful things of writing a website that sounds like me and writing a website that converts and is efficient and is actually getting my, my community and my audience to do what I want them to do. So promptlets, um, just Jordana. That's a really, really good option. Number four is Coffee Clatch. This is especially for those of you over in the UK. Um, if you're looking for help with contracts, policies, these are off the shelf, but written by lawyers, attorneys, solicitors, whatever you wanna call them. Um, and they're so easy to customize where you pop in the appropriate things for your business without having to pay extortionate custom lawyer fees. Um, so contracts and all those kinds of things are so easy with Coffee Clatch. If you're based in the US, this is number five, six, six. Um, I would recommend Termly. And that is 
uh, really useful for mostly your website policies and things like that. So cookie banners, website policies, um, terms and conditions, those kinds of things. Really simple policies for your website. Number seven is interact. Um, this is what I use on my site for a quiz. So if you're looking for a really engaging, really fun lead magnet, or maybe you have a product and you're looking to um, assign people to the right area of your business, maybe they're looking for the right skincare for themselves, or they're looking to match uh, the right jewelry with their outfit, a quiz is a really useful way to help people out. So that's one. Um, so interact, it makes it really, really easy. I won't lie, I did a video on this recently, and that creating a quiz is a lot of work, but AI is making that a lot easier and interactive course, like most tools these days, has built that right in for you. All right, so we're shifting out of the website stuff right now and moving on to my other favorite category, which is keeping organized. So tools that keep us organized over here, Calibrated Concepts, number one is Dubsado. That is my CRM or Customer Relationship Management Software that helps me to do contracts, appointments, um, invoicing, and then all that client handholding, forms, um, emails going out at specific times of a working relationship, um, appointment reminders, all these things, and it's all automated. Um, so I have, it's really a lot to build out, but once you have it set up, it is so freeing to go like, all right, someone's filled out my, my, um, my form because they're interested in working with me. They're automatically going to get this, this, and this, or if someone signed a contract with me, they're automatically going to get this, this, and this, you know, um, it makes it so, so easy and it makes you really consistent. Number nine is Asana. Asana keeps the back end of my own business organized. So it's me and my team and where we keep files, tasks, projects, um, think our kind of down the road roadmap ideas. It's where we keep um, within our own projects for when we're working on a website or a system for a business. It's where we keep um, important files um, and all those kinds of things. So it makes it so easy for us to just really keep tabs on everything going on in our business and everything going on that we're doing for other people's businesses. It is the backbone of my entire business. All right, number 10 is Slack. Slack is where we communicate. We obviously do some communication in Asana, but Slack is where we communicate without creating additional inbox clutter. So if we're just going, okay, hey, are you gonna make it to this team meeting? Or, hey, have you seen this task over Asana? Maybe you've missed it or those kinds of things. We have that. We set up automations that have remind us to check in with each other um, on a periodic basis. In previous time, we used to have it daily or weekly. It's a little bit more loose than that now, um, but we've I've used it to set up reminders for people to submit things to the newsletter. I currently have it set up so that my Google Calendar posts in there every day so that the whole team can see what's going on in the business. We can see who's in the office, out of the office, all those kinds of things. Super duper handy and have a great free plan along with a lot of these tools too. All right, number 11 is Acuity Scheduling. This one we don't use because we use Acuity, uh, sorry, we use Dubsado Scheduling. However, Dubsado Scheduling is not robust enough for all of my clients. Acuity is the, the GOAT, the greatest of all time. If you have a service-based business, so if you are a yoga instructor, if you are a barber, those kinds of clients, these are the people that I set up with Acuity because it sets up has way more robust payment options for those. It has um, intake forms, automated reminders, but it also allows you to do group classes, um, discount codes, vouchers, all sorts of things in there that some others don't. So it's like a wholesale system in itself. Um, so there we go. Um, by the way, some of these, I'm gonna pop this in here just kind of in the middle. Some of these are affiliates. I'm gonna pop all my links, whether it's an affiliate or not, down below. Um, you can, some of them, you get discounts or bonuses for signing up with my link, no pressure either way. But if you find one of these tools intriguing, go and check it out, use our free trial or whatever, and let me know what you think. All right. So jumping back into it to things that keep us organized. My, I've recently, as you know, migrated my business, um, from the UK slash Ireland to the U S but my, for my UK business banking, I use 
Monzo, Monzo business. Um, I've used it for personally and in my business for years. I've had no problems. It's been so easy. It's so affordable. Like even the business pro plan was five pounds a month, which made it so worth it. Um, I was able to export. I still export all of my transactions into a spreadsheet, which makes it so easy for our end of the month accounting. Um, so, so worth it. So um, if you're in the UK and are thinking about like, oh, how am I gonna manage my money? I'd highly recommend it. Number 12 is Google Workspace. Now there's a million people, things, kind of pros and cons to finding your Microsoft Office, Google Workspace, whatever it is for you. But we love Google Workspace. Um, not necessarily Google's number one fan outside of this suite, but it is so useful to be able to have my email, professional emails all in one place, my Google Drive storage, and all of our files in one place and shareable. Um, we use Google Meet for all of our calls, and that integrates with really beautifully. These tools also integrate really beautifully with our other tools, which is so great. Um, and yeah, so those those are some of the big thing, big hitters, but we also use Google My Business. We use uh, the calendar feature we're quite extensively. There's a lot we use in the tool, and it's when you pay for Google Workspace, you get so you get it all, and that's that's the beauty of it. All right, so from there, we're moving on from talking about organization to content creation. And by the way, I think I'm counting right. We are now entering number fourteen. So for con content creation we are talking about Canva, of course. That is probably the most important thing for uh, small small businesses without maybe design skills. Canva, I've been using it for probably 10 years. I used it well before I had a business and I've been doing my business for like almost eight now. Um, so it's just, it's so beautiful. It's so professional. It's so easy to get it right. Uh, they have such gorgeous templates. The AI features are now making things extra cool. Um, and you don't just spend hours on it. You can, you can fill with it for hours and procrastinate in business. Some people do, but Canva is designed for non-designers and I create everything from flyers to, um, the thumbnails for my YouTube videos and more in there. So, all right. So next is how I schedule my social media. And that is later. There are a million and one tools out there for scheduling, scheduling your social media. I use Later. I've been on the Later train for a long, long time. I have tested so many over the years as well with clients. We've tried so many. I won't even name them all, but there's been a lot. And the reason I love Later is because mostly it's really, really clean and it's really, really visual. So having, I have thousands of pictures and videos in my library. Uh, it tells me which ones I've used, which ones I haven't. I can create categories for them. And then I can drag and drop them into the calendar, create the, the text around it. And that's it done and um, I tend to schedule I used to be a person that would have scheduled like month like a month of content out in advance I tend to do it about two weeks in advance keeps me re more relevant more topical it also just feels like it's more authentic to the moment of what's happening in my life my business those kinds of things so um about to schedule posts and it saves you so much time number I think 16 we're getting there on down the list number 16 is Flowdesk um, there's again, so many email marketing tools on the market. Um, and I recommend some of those to my clients. Sometimes if you're a Squarespace user and you're using their e-commerce stuff, I will tell you to go with Squarespace campaigns. If you, um, are using, sometimes I'll tell you to go with, uh, if you're not ready to pay, sometimes I'll tell you to go with MailerLite. If you need really advanced automations, like really advanced, I will might tell you to go with ConvertKit. But in my business, I want things to be really simple and I do need some automation features and I do want some analytics features, but I don't need the whole kit and caboodle. That serves me so well. And I've been with them so long that like I'm grandfathered into their incredible pricing, but you can get really good pricing still for what you do because it's not paid by subscriber. It's just one flat fee. And if you use my code, you do get a discount for your first year. And finally, the last thing on this list is my key light. I don't have it at the moment, but typically when I was back in Belfast, I had an Elgato key light and I had an Elgato key light air specifically. They have the ones that are just big and sit on your like clamp to your desk, or this one is nice because it has a base and you can move it around. And, and 
it makes a big difference. This, this video right here doesn't look as good today because I don't have my light. However, I have ordered a new one. I've ordered a new one today and it will be arriving. I put it off because I was waiting for my new desk, but the way that the light's changing in the autumn, it's time. It's time. So these are the tools that I use in my business and in my clients' businesses to keep things running smoothly. And they help me serve my clients better. They help me to free up time. They help me to be really boundaried and structured with the way I run my business and give myself that freedom, flexibility. Um, so I hope they help you out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, if you have tried a tool, loved it, hated it, let me know. If there's one I have, if you feel like a, like a gaping hole that I've left off the list, tell me, tell us. We'd love to hear it. All right. And if this has been helpful, like, comment, subscribe. We, it means the world. Thanks. Have a good day.